Okay guys, welcome again. Spanning tree protocol modes and standards. Because of the sequence of events over the history of the various STP family of protocols, vendors like Cisco needed to create their own proprietary features to create the per VLAN spanning tree concept. When STP was the only STP standard back in the 1990s, what 802.1D, Cisco created the STP based per VLAN spanning tree plus protocol, which creates one spanning tree instance per VLAN. When the IEEE introduced RSTP, which is 802.W, in the year 2001, Cisco also created the Rapid PVST Plus protocol. Our PVST Plus provided more features than standardized RSTP, including one tree per VLAN. The IEEE did not adapt Cisco's PVST Plus or Rapid PVST Plus into their standards to create multiple spanning trees. And instead, the IEEE created a different method called Multiple Spanning Tree Protocol or MSTP, originally defined in 802.1s. This figure shows the features as a timeline for perspective. Today, Cisco Catalyst switches give us three options to configure on the spanning tree mode command, which tells the switch which type of STP to use. As you see, the switch do not support STP or RSTP with a single tree. They can use either the Cisco protocol like PVST Plus and our PVST Plus or the IEEE standard MSTP. Our main discussion today is about per VLAN spanning tree plus or PVST plus. PVST plus is the default setting on all Cisco Catalyst switches. In a PVST plus environment, you can tune the spanning tree parameters so that half the VLANs forward on each uplink trunk. You do this by configuring one switch to be elected the root bridge for half of the VLANs in the network and a second switch to be elected the root bridge for the other half of the VLANs. In this topology, switch 1 is the root bridge for VLAN 10 and switch 3 is the root bridge for VLAN 20. From the perspective of switch 2, a port is forwarding or blocking depending on the VLAN instance. After convergence, port 0 slash 2 will be forwarding VLAN 10 frames and blocking VLAN 20 frames. And also port 0 slash 3 will be forwarding VLAN 20 frames and blocking VLAN 10 frames. Switched networks running PVST Plus allows redundant links to be fully utilized. And also each additional spanning tree instance for a VLAN adds more CPU cycles to all switches in the network. The spanning tree is determined immediately after a switch is finished booting. For example, if a switch port transitions directly from the blocking state to the forwarding state without information about the fault topology during the transition, the port can temporarily create a data loop. For this reason, STP introduces the five port states blocking, listening, learning, forwarding, and disabled. This table describes the port states that ensure that no loops are created during the creation of the logical spanning tree. As we said in the previous video, by default switch send BPDU message every two seconds. BPDU message transmitted across a local area network to detect loops in network topologies. A BPDU contains information regarding ports, switches, port priority, and addresses. First, BPDU messages allowed 
We are put in blocking, listening, learning, and forwarding state. Not allowed and disabled state. When data frame is received, not allow it to forward in blocking state, listening state, learning state, and disabled state. Only when a port in forwarding state can forward data frames. Also cannot forward data frames switches from another interface in blocking, listening, learning, and disabled state. Only when a port in forwarding state can forward data frames switch it from another interface. No learning MAC addresses in blocking, listening, and disabled state. And learning MAC addresses in learning and forwarding state. Originally, a switch bridge ID was formed by combining the switch's 2-byte priority and its 6-byte MAC address. The revised rules or system ID extension divide the original priority field into two separate fields. As you see the diagram, a 4-bit priority field and a 12-bit subfield called the system ID extension, which represents the VLAN ID. PVST Plus requires a separate instance of spanning tree for each VLAN. The bridge ID field in the BPDU must carry VLAN ID information. Cisco switches let you configure the bridge ID but only the priority part. The switch fails in its universal MAC address as the system ID and it also plugs in the VLAN ID of VLAN in the 12-bit system ID extension field. The only part configurable by the network engineer is the 4-bit priority field. As you see the figure, the priority field was originally a 16-bit number, which represented a decimal number from 0 to 65,535. The configuration command spanning tree VLAN, VLAN ID, priority requires a decimal number between 0 and 65,535. But not just any number in the range will suffice. It must be a multiple of 4096. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel.